Hi, and welcome to the coffee break in my kitchen. So nice to have you here. First of all, I really appreciate all the nice comments and nice words. It's, it's so nice to hear it. Thank you. Today and the next segment, coffee break, will be about Lag Beimer. So let me begin. Imagine if you had a certain concept and you tried lahadir that concept, to give in to that concept, to your family, to your students, to your people, and they are nichshol, and they fall on the exact concept that you put your life down for. What does that feel like? Rabbi Akiva said, we all know that song, Omar. It was so important to him. And yet, 24,000 Talmidim die. It's even hard to say that number. You know, that's about hundreds. It's, if, if it's still like Beymer, it's 700 and something Levi is a day. You know that that's almost impossible to fathom. It's almost impossible to fathom. And what are they nichshal in? The thing that's so important to you. But that's why. And we're explained, it's, it's an incredible concept. They loved each other so much. On the words, they wanted that you should also understand because I understand this very well. I really believe this concept, whatever the concept is. And since I love you as much as I love me, I want you to understand the way I understand because I know I understand it well. Wow. But each one of us is different. I always think, you know, I go here a sheer and what I come out with is not what somebody else comes out with. We had an incredible Seder by my son in Yerushalayim. And a Seder, one. Yes. And at the end of the Seder, everybody got something else from the Seder. I heard one thing that I loved. He said the word Russia, you know, the Arba Bonim, the word Russia stands for Rebbeinu Shel Elam. That even the Russia, he's looking for something. He's looking for God. He's not a Russia. He's just lost right now, and he's looking for Hashem. Rebbeinu Shel Elam. Isn't that incredible? I asked other people, what did you hear at the say that Everybody heard something else. But we all heard the same say that We all heard something else. Because each person is different. Each person has a different understanding, a different Weltanschauung, a different inside, a different middle. The Talmidim of Rabbi Akiva were so positive that what they think is right, that they wanted the other one. They wanted him to feel the same way and to understand. Don't you understand that that's the way it is? but it's not. And Rabbi Akiva lost, you know, it's really hard to fathom this, 24,000 Talmudim. What do you think he felt like? What do you think he felt like? And he went home to his wife, Rachel. Now let's remember who Rachel is. She's the daughter of Kalba Savua. I taught for years for an incredible woman. Her name is Shalamis Prager. She married Rabbi Keller. She remarried. Rabbi Prager passed away, and she married Rabbi Keller, the Rosh Hashiva of Tells in Chicago. But we were very close, Shalamis and I, and Rebetzin Prager, Rebetzin Keller. And she once said to me, everybody wants to marry a Rabbi Akiva. 
but with Galba Sabur's money. She married Rabbi Akiva without Galba Sabur's money. He lost 24,000 Talmidim. And he came home, and she said to him, Akiva, start again. What? How could I? How could I? My life is over. My life is over. How could I start again? Akiva, start again. Start again. Do you have any Talmidim you could start with? Open your hearts, everybody. Do you know the names of the 24,000 Talmidim? Of course not. But you know the names of the five that he started with? Literally a handful, because she pushed and she encouraged, because that's what a woman does. She pushed, she encouraged. Excuse me, and the five Talmidim, I always forget names, so I wrote it down, are Rabbi Yehuda Bariloi, Ketzer Meragdim Ifnei Akalo, yeah, that's, I think, him. Rabbi Meir, Bal Hanes, Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Lazar Ben Shamua, he ended up being one of the Aseris Arugim Alfos Nebuch. Rabbi Yesi Ben Chalafto, and Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. Those are names you know. So you don't know the 24,000 Talmidim, but you know those, and that's what he started with again. So it's never too late. It's never, I can't do it. It's never, it's over. No, it's not. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and start again. My father, Ola Basholom, Avi Meir, Rav Shneir Zalman, Bukman, walked on canes. And he lived a life as if to say, Nem die stecken in die hand und geh weiter. Take those canes, take whatever it is, and keep going. Next coffee break will be about Lag Beimer and Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai and the Talmudim of Rabbi Akiva. Thank you so much for being here. Seid gesund, bebirchas Moshiach, immediately. Thank you.